The problem, Disney still hasn't reached out to me and asked me to be the host of Must Do Disney. The solution, I get my iPhone 13 mini and two supportive parents, go to Disney World and make the Must Do Disney myself. Hello and welcome to Must See Daphne. My name is Daphne Tech, writer, actor, agent of chaos, and Disney veteran. Look at that. Picture of me on the Triceratops bin with my dad. I was three. I was also a huge fan of the Must Do Disney video that would play on the Disney World Hotel TVs over and over again. I would just watch that so many times. I would idolize Stacy. I always wanted to be in that video, but then I realized, huh, I've got a camera. If I can get someone to film me, I can make my own. So here's Must See Daphne. It's like Must Do Disney except I'm hosting it. God help us all. In Disney World, the trend is that the northernmost parts of the park were built first and then going south. So that's how we're going to go through Disney World today. First, we're going to start with the park that started it all, the Magic Kingdom. Welcome to Disney World, everybody. Blop and loaded. If you can, you should get there at Rope Drop and head for the most popular attraction because that's the shortest the line's going to be. And in this case, that ride is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. The Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, added as part of New Fantasyland, will take you up the mountain summit, around sharp hair pig turns, and deep into the mine where a million diamonds shine. That means you'll get to see Doc, Grumpy, Dopey, and all the other ones. The seats are attached to the wheels by an axle, meaning you'll sway with every twist and turn this coaster takes. That was fun! Let's check out the rest of Fantasyland! First, the ride that'll fill your eyes with color and your head with dizziness, the Mad Tea Party. The cups here have no speed cap. People tend to overlook the carousel, but after a long day of going on a groundbreaking ride, sometimes it's nice to ride on a nice, simple carousel. This will be the hip new fashion trend of the future, I can feel it. I didn't know this until a couple years ago, but that's an actual clock. Every 15 minutes it'll chime and show the time. This is probably my favorite room in the ride. No singing, just instruments, vibes, and Spotify threatening to egg you. No matter what, there will always be a backup on this ride. Worst case scenario, you get stuck next to the bagpipe guy. Memento Mori. Unisonus. Almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? This place makes the best fried fish. And this is the best place in the Magic Kingdom to take your kids when they're tired and need a nice quiet place to nap. For thrill seekers in the Magic Kingdom, look no further than the Triple Mountain Whammy, Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, and Big Thunder Mountain. The first mountain is closed, but the second one is open for business. This is the only red where they put the Spanish safety nets the first so that they can send you off on This is the wildest ride in the wilderness! I'm going out on a limb here, but I don't think the dog's gonna give him that key. I might have been on this ride a few too many times. Oh, Ginger, Ginger snaps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, she's one tough cookie. Like I said, he's like the falls, and he's Dr. Alexander, Dr. Albert Falls. Now, some of my favorite plants to you. As uh. Jeannie likes to say, Sushi. Look at that, that's a nice castle. I'll never get used to the pink paint job though, I always imagine it being blue and white. I wish smell vision survived the 50s because these stores smell so good. Mario Kart time! It takes a little over three coconut malls. I've always wondered how they do this show. They're, they're animated, but they still talk to you. What, do they just block the voice actors in the back all day? I never understood the aiming on this ride. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss, and sometimes you get a 100,000 point target out of nowhere. Miss me with that weapon accuracy. I'm firing here, I'm firing there, I'm firing everywhere. What's my score? I'm firing at the wall. Disable, prepare, re-enter. Hey look, it's that ride that predicted voice command in VR. The People Mover is a great place to relax your feet and get a great view of Tomorrowland and those puny mortals below. Space Mountain is a roller coaster type ride that'll take you to the farthest reaches of space. Get in a rocket and hold on tight. This ride can take you past orbs of light, migrant meteors, wayward comets, and maybe even into a wormhole. 
It's completely in the dark, so you all have no idea what it'll do next. Quick, get my picture before it goes away! What's my favorite ride in the Magic Kingdom? Hmm, the one that moves. With six different lands, each with its own flavor and its own theme, the Magic Kingdom is, well, magical. But next we're going to go somewhere a little bit more cerebral. This is Epcot. Epcot. Who's ready for the mile-long trick back to World Showcase? World number one of Disney World? Bring good walking shoes. Welcome to the France Pavilion, where they appreciate an invisible narrator. The piece de resistance here is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. This ride, inspired by the movie Ratatouille, is a 4D experience that'll take you on a rather unique tour of Gusto's restaurant. Oof, that's hot! What's so unique? Your ride vehicle's a rat, and you'll be scurrying through the kitchen and dining room of Gusto's. When you're small, life is a big adventure. It really is an amazing ride. Let's check out the rest of World Showcase. Let's take a brief moment to pay our respects to the Martin Short movie. I personally put this one on must not do, Daphne. <laughs> You know what is a must-do? These crepes. Here we are in the gift shop at the Japan Pavilion. Anime and video game fans, let's go bonkers. I was hoping they'd have a villager I have. I've always thought the Animal Crossing game should give you the option to hug your villagers. This'll have to do. I was hoping to find some MarioWare merch, but it looks like I'll have to go with the next best thing. And here's the best place in Epcot to take your kids when they're tired and need a nice quiet place to nap. After a long day of walking around, it's nice to take a stop in Germany and watch the trains. Huh, here comes one right now. Choo-choo! If you're looking for a way to relax your feet in the shade, check out the Grand Fiesta Tour starring the three caballeros in the Mexico Pavilion. The line is never too long. Welcome to How to Capture Your Imagination, also known as How to Capture a Dumb, Stupid Dragon Who Keeps Interrupting My Presentations, with Nigel Channing. It's about listening with your imagination! <laughs> Got a fast pass for Soren. Hate to miss it. They changed this one from Soren over California to Soren around the world. My only major gripe? They got rid of the orange smells. They actually encourage you to take photos and video here, so I got my camera out. To the right, you'll see my favorite plant, but please do not touch the sand. I guess you can say this ride is bananas. <laughs> I never thought they'd be making Mickey NFTs, but like, here we are. This is one of my top Disney bots. Hot dog, chicken, nuts. I typically skip this ride because it stops like every time I'm on it, but for my homies, my boys, I'm gonna ride it today. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? If the Magic Kingdom has the Triple Mountain Whammy, Epcot has World Discovery, Cosmic Rewind, Mission Space, and Test Track. Let's check them out. Who's ready to see what killed Ellen? Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is the newest attraction at Disney World, the first roller coaster at Epcot, the first reverse launch coaster at Disney World, and one of the largest enclosed roller coasters in the world. A lot of firsts. This will be my first time on this ride. The reactions you see will be raw and unfiltered. In this ride, you'll join Star-Lord, Rocket, and the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy on an exciting chase through space as you go back in time to save the cosmic generator from a mysterious entity. The cars also rotate 360 degrees, so it'll be a wild ride. Incredible, unbelievable, amazing, show-stopping, dancing in September. I never wanted it to end. There comes a time in everyone's life where you have to make a decision. Do I spend five minutes in a cramped room fearing for my life? Or do I spend five minutes in a cramped room doing nothing? Hmm, fear for my life it is. I just had my brain spun out of me. I can no longer walk. I am going to do Mission Space Race. Even the wait area here is a vibe. This is another one of my top Disney bots. These cars should have the capability to go over German and Belgian bricks, the efficiency to survive heat, cold, and corrosion, the responsiveness to make sharp hairpin turns, and the power to go 65 miles per hour. You can't tell from the D blocking my face, but my hair is everywhere. I guess Dad was right. Every person does come out tired. 
with different countries around the world, flights over the world, and even space journeys out of this world, I guess you could say Epcot is home to a world of possibilities. Next, we're going to walk right into the movies at Disney's Hollywood Studios. It's like Hollywood in Florida. I've always liked the aesthetic of 1920s, 30s Hollywood. The neon lights, the sleek lines, and the Starbucks. It all leads us to our first ride of the day. It's Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is the first ride you see entering the park. It takes you into the zany cartoon universe of Mickey and Minnie. Hop on a train being driven by conductor Goofy, and then watch as it goes off the rails. This trackless ride will take you through a carnival, a city, a factory, and more. With four cars that split apart, there are four different ways this ride can go. This also has the honor of being the first ride to start Mickey and Minnie. Nothing can stop us now. There's so many other places to see in Hollywood Studios. Let's check them out. The Magic Kingdom has the Triple Mountain Whammy, Epcot is World Discovery, and Hollywood Studios has Sunset Boulevard, which has two of the most thrilling rides in the park the Tower of Terror, and Rock and Roller Coaster. I've always liked the spooky ambience of this lobby. The cool thing about the Tower of Terror is that you don't know what's going to happen until those cables snap. They're not actually snapping. Rock and Roller Coaster is closed right now, but believe me, this ride puts the loose in loose objects. Zero to 16 three seconds, goes upside down three times. You'll be so dizzy getting off, you won't be able to walk. If you were to ask me, yeah, what is a trip to Hollywood Studios incomplete without? Well, I'd say remember the three T's, Tower of Terror, Toy Story Mania, and Toys of the Stars. It's kind of like Tower of Terror in that there are different scenes that are chosen randomly, making for over 50 different combinations, so you never know what's going to happen. I've never been the Rebel Spy. Never. But I keep hoping. For good Italian food, come to Mama Melrose's Ristorante Italiano. It's been a tradition of my family's for years to go there. Who's ready to check out Toy Story Land? Another ride where you could easily lose your phone. Believe me though, it is epic. If you want my strategy? Grab a string like this and then go super fast. Low scoring targets are important, but you gotta aim for the high ones and never give up. Video games are fun, but have you ever heard of the Toy Story Mania final round? Welcome to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the newest part of Disney's Hollywood Studios. The star attraction here is Rise of the Resistance. You are a Resistance spy who has been captured by the First Order, and with the help of the Resistance, you have to escape their ship before they find the location of your secret base. This ride is a combination trackless ride, dark ride, and drop ride with stunning visuals and state-of-the-art animatronics. You'll get to see all of your favorite Star Wars characters, including Kylo Ren, Rey, and BB-8. That was actually pretty cool, and I'm not even a Star Wars fan. Let's go on Smuggler's Run. I don't know what these buttons do, but I sure am having a lot of fun pressing them. We had a lot of fun in Hollywood Studios. With so many movies, there's a ton of different adventures to be had. But before we get to the last part of the video, it's time to talk about something that many Disney World guests, including myself, have done, but must do Disney never talks about. That's right, it's staying out of the resort. Disney World has over 20 different resort hotels, and we're going to check out some of the ones I've stayed at before, and some of the ones I want to stay at. Let's go! We start with the first and swankiest of the resorts, The Contemporary. The Contemporary is one of the resorts connected by Disney's famous monorail. The stay at the Contemporary isn't complete without a trip to the Magic Kingdom on one of these bad boys. During our stays at the Contemporary, the Contempo Cafe was a go-to for lunch. The service is quick and the food is delicious. It's right next to the famous character breakfast, Chef Mix. Who ever heard of a shop right in the middle of the floor? I've never actually stayed in the Contemporary Building. All of my stays have been at Bay Lake Tower, the DVC building. Don't worry, it's just as swank. The first on my bucket list, Grand Floridian, is just so stately. Quick stop in good time, be sure to mosey on down to the Hoopty Doo Musical Review at Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Oh, 
animals at Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's amazing. Art of Animation is one of the newest Disney resorts and it is crazy. I'd love to stay in a room here one day. As you can see, there are many experiences available at Disney World's different resort hotels. But now we go to our fourth theme park. For this one, we're taking a trip on the wild side. It's time to go to Animal Kingdom. The coolest part about Animal Kingdom is that they've got real live animals. Here we are at the Otter Grotto, sponsored by Otterbox. There are over 300 animal carvings in the Tree of Life, and you can see some of them in line for It's Tough to Be a Bug, based on the Pixar movie A Bug's Life. This show will have you on the edge of your seat. Literally, there will be crickets and beetles crawling underneath, and maybe a few maggots. Welcome to Pandora, the world of Avatar. This is the newest part of the Animal Kingdom, and it's supposed to represent the imaginary animals. It's got all the hip new attractions, and the e-ticket attraction here is Flight of Passage. This ride is based on a rite of passage among the Navi people. You'll get to board a winged mountain banshee and fly through the breathtaking landscapes of Pandora. And it breathes! You can actually feel it breathing between your thighs. You'll be flying around mountains, through caverns, and maybe even on the ocean waves. On this ride, you'll get the chance to test yourself like a real Navi. It's like Sword in Star Tours had a baby and then injected that baby with steroids. I guess you can call it a ride of passage, get it? I'm saying, I'm saying ride with a D, ride. I'm ruining the joke. Navi River Journey might look like your average water ride in the dark, but it's got one of the most sophisticated animatronics in Disney World. It's a must see. Look at that, she is a beaut. Magic Kingdom has the Triple Mountain Whammy, Epcot has World Discovery, Hollywood Studios has Sunset Boulevard, and Animal Kingdom has just one ride that towers high above the others. Expedition Everest is the tallest structure at Disney World and takes you deep into Mount Everest. Welcome to the Himalayas! You'll board a train and take a tour through the mountains, but be warned, there are plenty of twists and turns on this ride. This is a coaster unlike any other. Not only does it have sharp turns and steep drops, it'll take you backwards in the dark, and legend has it that there's a deadly snow monster hiding in the mountain. Will you be able to escape the mountain before the Yeti takes you too? Never gets less scary. We've made it to Dinoland USA, and I'm sad because they closed Friday This dinosaur is my friend. I like to call him Jerry. Dinosaur. That's a name that strikes fear into the hearts of humans. This is the only part of this ride that I can film because it gets close. And with that, we have visited all four theme parks and select resort hotels. With all the attractions Disney World has, there are limitless experiences to be had. So many that I can't fit them all in this video. So you'll just have to go out and see them for yourself. As a lifelong Disney fan, I would know that once you've gone enough times, you leave a little piece of your heart there. And when you're not there, you're eagerly waiting for your next trip. I hope you learned a little something from this video. Thank you for watching Must See Daphne. My name is Daphne Tech, and I better see you at Disney World. Goodbye.